Pozi atajipata amepiga magoti ya Nabio jamaa. Endorsements, endorsements hmm? amepoteza hivi endorsements ikifuatana hivi because waezi kubali hata kama ni endorsement ya condom waezi kubali kampuni ya condom waezi kubali ati una advertise na kwa ndani ya station. Pozi aende hata kana apiga magoti, apiga magoti aseme baba, mimi nimesurrender. Nimesurrender. Na niliongea mbaya ilikuwa ni kitambo nilikuwa nafuta cloud lakini nimesema nime pole na hiyo story ishe we should no. we should learn how to be humble by the way Jana nimekaa chini hivi nimekaa hivi nikaona nikaona ni kama ni wili pole nataka kutoa wimbo we Jiu unajua wili pole na maclouds unakaa hivi kidogo na kuambia yeye ni nini hivi alafu muziki inato No inatoka uh-huh. but unaona wili pole anaandika kwa instagram at hiyo kuna watu wa makarao kwa hapa nje na wanasema ati lifanya ile hit and run uligongana na gari ukahepa uh-huh. na anaona maisha yake iko in danger anaita mablogger akawaita pale hivyo na wakakuja mablogger alikuja ukiandika tu hapo kwa instagram mablogger nao anakuja uh-huh. lakini kukaa kidogo na chicken ndio pozea ameshaingizwa mingizo ndani ya cell we kuingizwa ndani ya cell sisi tunafikiria ile hit and run kumbe ni Diana Marwa uh-huh. alifanya ile kitu eh sasa imagine case ya 2021 imeletwa mpaka sasa hii 2024 ndio inafufuliwa uh-huh. na ni ile kesi ile kesi noma sana ile yenye unajua pose unajua unajua wa celebrities wanaongeaga tu for, for the sake of kuongea exactly. mtu unafungua umekaa chini unafungua tu mdomo prr, nili, nilifanya hii nilifinya hii uh-huh. nilitumbukiza ulitumbukiza tumbo tumbo yeah yeah alisema mm. kama alitumbukiza alikuwa anafanya ile kitu ah na lakini ni kama ile unafanya vitu ignorantly unataka no. you don't care and then you have to consider also this is a married woman mm. na ako na mtu mwingine pale hivyo na you know a man has to protect his territory. Yes. Na you know sasa kijana akasema hapana. And you might think maybe ni Diana Bean anakimbiza hiki tuna utapata ni kijana wetu bahanye. Madocho was here the other day alisema uh-huh. anania liingiza kwa nini mkia Is- kwa isiradu. Isiradu. Willy Paul pia jana alikuwa ameingiza hiyo mkia kwa isiradu because kabisa. venye mambo ilikuwa ina, inaendelea hivi mm-hmm. ilikuwa imechemuka vinoma. Na unajua utaingizia kabisa kwa sababu utapata utapata labda nipelekwa DCI. DCI eh, serious crime unit. Mm. Na unajua sasa ukishafikisha huko sasa na gundua mambo ni hatari. Na unajua ba complainant mara mingi sana ukianza kuwapigia simu, washikaji simu. Haizi shika. Unaanza kubembeleza eh hey, baba, mimi hiki kitu tulimaliza kitambo sana, nini unanikimbiza saa hizi bado bana? Nisame mm. hey, bana. And no, let no. me tell you mm-hmm. there's nobody who is powerful like a complainant. Actually kwa kesi yoyote wewe ndio unafaa kuwe ni complainant. Usiwae jaribu watu wenye kwa tena mshtakiwa. Mimi niko nafikiria Willy Paul anatoa ngoma mpaka na makarao. Naona Amin. bahati ametokezea hivi uh-huh. nikasema eh hey, collabo itakuwa ni noma because bahati ndio anatokezea hivi anataka kuingia kwa stage vile pole kwa huko ndani ndani ya sela sema hii wimbo ni inaweza kwa wimbo inaitwa jela uh-huh. ama inaweza inaitwa labda hongo ama nini nini hivyo vitu kama hivyo lakini, lakini kumbe ni serious uh-huh. lawyer alikuja akasema huyu nani alifanya cyber bullying cyber bullying ni ile nyenye unaona una prrr. Prrr, mdomo unafungua mdomo kama kasia hapo unaongea tu vitu vyenye hata ujui lakini watu wengi hawajui the effect of kuita tu mtu jina mm. na kuongea bila kufikiria yes hata sisi pia tulijipata siku moja tuko kwa hiyo situation na sasa zingine mm. unapiga kipindi unadhani yenyewe unatafuta relevance unapiga mm. kipindi unataka kufurahisha watu kwa sababu sasa zingine kusema kweli hii ground sasa zingine nakauka na unataka kupiga kipindi kidogo at least ulete traction kwa ngoma ya kwa ngoma yako, yako. Na sasa unaona sasa zingine watu wana go to the extreme eh, eh, nini angle of the whole thing. Na sasa zingine ukienda extreme unajipata umepigwa kiboko. Unajua hata kama ni ngoma unataka i trend uweze sema ati nilikula hii kitu alafu ndio hii kitu i trend. Hapo najua sasa zingine. No. Let me tell you sometimes watu wako nile ignorance. Hata mimi pia nimeshajipata kwa situation. Unajipata pale huko umeongea kitu na umeongea kabisa na ukaguza uka, kitu mtu kitu personal. Mm. Unaona? na kipindi kama tunapiga kuna i think tunafaa kuna drawing of the lines mm. na sa zingine unapata content creation inakuwa ni ngumu ina una, umetengeneza ngoma mzuri umetumia pesa mingi sana unataka kupiga kipindi ili hiyo ngoma ye, iende sasa unaona una, una go to the extreme mile ya kuongea vitu hatari hatari mm. pose aliongeza vitu bila kufikiria mimi nikiona and the, the brother is really hurting Mm. Anaumia saa hizi na unajua wa Kenya wanadhani ni kipindi tu ati oh ni ngoma wanataka kufanya ni cloud wana sick lakini saa zingine chini ya manji kama ni kitu ilifanyiko sijui 20 what ni 20 2021 mm. na imekuja mpaka saa hizi that is a serious thing no, no. hawa watu kuna uwezekano wamekosana wamekosana na ukianza mm-hmm. vizuri hata leo alikuwa anasema hii kitu ili affect Diana Marwa mentally Kapisa. psychologically hata kwa familia ili affect mpaka watoto Aha. because unapata mtoto wako anasikia yeye mama ulifanya fanya hivi ni kweli ulifanya hivi hata bwana wako anakucheki hivi bahati anakucheki anafungua mm. macho hivi wazee hey. mm. sasa swali ni when or where do we draw the lines unaona i think kabla upige kipindi tupigie jamaa simu mwambie wazee kuna kitu hatari nataka kuanguka hapa hivi be prepared psychologically umuulize eh hey, nikitumia jina yako kwa hii level unaonaje atakuambia eh hey, usikame hivyo sana 
kwa sababu utakuwa umechoma kwa sababu ya eh, ABC. Mm. Na unaona sasa hiyo ndio kitu wetu watu wengi waharelewi kwa hii industry sasa hizi. Na pia kuna ile aspect pia monetization. Umepata opportunity tunaona ukiwaanga mtu na defamation mm. pale hivyo 10 years ndio unafaulu una ndani na fanya mamilioni kadhaa hapo hivyo. Na hiyo economy utafaulu utatoa pesa wapi? Unajua Willy Paul, Willy Paul eh? is a very good uh, artist. Ndiseme ni, ni msanii ambaye ni Kenya ambaye ni top, yani ma top kama top 5 hivi mm-hmm. wasanii wenye wametamba. Mm-hmm. So you can imagine Willy Paul ameshikwa kaingizwa ndani huko Nditni akae tena ma 12 years. Na unaona lawyer alisema kama ni 10 years. Kama ni 10 years yule jamaa anafaa labda asaf kama labda kipatikana guilty. Msanii wetu atatoa ngoma kweli. Unaona inakuwa ni tricky. I think some clauses kuna vitu zingine pia zinafaa kwa consider. Mm. Ukisema tukisema sababu ling unafucha jiwe 10 years. Hiyo ni kama mada. Wewe ni kama mtu wewe afadhali basi wote uende uibe basi kwa bank. Mm. Eh, hey. na evidence walisema evidence iko ya kutosha. Na ukisikia leo anaongea hivyo na very nini confident ana nini hivi evidence iko ya kutosha inamaanisha hapa hivi. I think kuna faku kuwe na amendment hapo hivyo kwa Cyber Bullying Act. Mm. Kwa sababu mtu fulani ameiba labda oga fulani ameiba mamilioni 20. Mhm. Mwingine hapa ametoka na mtu mwingine matako. Mhm. Huyu ameenda me report huyu akasema ti oh hii umetoka na matako umenyaribia biashara. Nataka uni compensate na 10 million. Huyu ameibia bank over 300 million. Hizi crimes mbili ziko the same. Zinafaa zikuwe handle in a very different way. Sababu bullying inafaa ikuwe na different categories. Hiyo ni kumaanisha kama creators uwezi kuwa kila sala lazima uko very careful on mm. kinyo unasema. Una yes. Na I think unafaa kuwa na freedom of expression. But of course na na leo uwezi ongea ongea tu. Kuna mm. limit, kuna mm. level lenye uwezi kuguza familia ya mtu, kuguza bibi ya mtu, hizo ni vitu risky. Lakini hiyo act inafaa iangaliwe according to me wa Kenya waache kuchukua vitu kwa mzaha unachukua uh-huh. vitu vitu tuli light ile light litu hivi ati yoni ni nini hivi i don't know if you come ile video ule mse alikuwa ameshikwa kaingizwa ndani ya sasa hivi alikuwa anaingizwa ndani uh-huh. na wanaume wanaume wako hapo wanamngoja wanaume uh-huh. wanakungoja hapo unaingia nditi ni hivi ulikuwa unafikiria ni rais rais hivi unasikia ra na unajua Kenya ngozi litaremshwa hivi uh-huh. na ilikuwa ni kama hata wasao walikuwa wanasema eh yani kumbe kuna kwa hivi ndio kunaendaga na hivyo kunaendaga unajua pa, wanaume huko ndani wanaumia na kuto kutu kabisa kutu ina kitu kutu inawasha huko ndani wewe uh-huh. umetoka huko ni fresh wewe sasa unaambia wewe kuja hapa baby unaumwa na kuja. umbu <laughs> umbu ukiwa ndani unaumwa na umbu kutu unaumwa na kutu mm. alafu the number three na pia kuna bed bugs eh hey. na unaona sasa ukiwa ndani hakuna mwenye anajua na unajua wakati unashikwa people think it's a joke bas na unajua hata ukiingia huko ukiingia huko kwa maofisa ma huko anacheka cheka he 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 mm. wewe ulifanya e, e, mm. uli e. mm-hmm. wanacheka na wewe lakini you don't know how heavy the whole accusation is you don't know how far this thing can go na tunafaa tupeleka watu pia na rada castro ile vako wenye unajua kuna makarao karao amekuja na kubamba mm-hmm. uh-huh. unajua venye Kenya si tu kuwa i know my rights unafaa uchezaji i know my rights ni nini twende mbele ah kuna karao alikuwa anapatia na advice hapa anasema ukikosa kukuwa humble ama ukikosa kuweka ile room ya negotiations hivi uoneshe ni aje manzee nimetulia ama tunaweza bonga uh-huh. utajipata umeingia huko mbele na ukaenda kabisa because alikuwa atua, anatoa story hivi anasema kuna kuna rafiki yake hapo hivyo alikuwa ameshikwa hivi uh-huh. na akatishia makarao anaambia mimi uh-huh. nyenye nipelekeni mbele kwendeni huko fanyeni venye mnataka uh-huh. the next day in court nasikia makarao walikuja wamefungwa wamejifunga na bandage wamekaa uh-huh. hivyo muumia anasema <laughs> eh sisi hiyo siku nyetu kwa shika au mtu tulipigwa eh tulipigwa yeah. so you can imagine ile uzito wa kesi inakuwaaje because Mingumu. uliambia karao twende mbele utafika utaenda huko mbele hey. utarudi unajua huko mbele kukuaje huko mbele ni kutia ni kunoma vibaya sana so wa Kenya wache mm. ujinga yenye tunachukulia tu vitu unaona karao hivi unamwambia wewe ni, ni shike wewe ukishikwa you don't have any rights you don't have any rights you don't know you are right mm. you don't have any rights yeah. kubali mashtaka Sema yeye yeah. kusema kweli baba yenye nimekosa hata kama mm. unajua yeye hujakosa sema yeye nimekosa mm. na situation ni hivi na hivi kwa sababu kitu cha kwanza unacheza na, na emotions za crowd yeah. ule pia ni binadamu mm. na ana jam bas na akijam na kwambia utafinywa utaweka huko ndani before you know it mambo yake yamegeuka vibaya sana na atakufinya vinoma ukipatikana unashika rao umekushika hivi mm-hmm. mlambe mlambe mwambie mkubwa mkubwa uko smart mkubwa mwanze we ulipita mtihani hata kama unajua alichapa d <laughs> <laughs> Sasa tunaanza kukuambia nyie mjasoma na sasa hey. unapata mtu anaongea hivyo kwa elfu moja ama elfu mbili kwa mfuko hapa General Inspector Lamba Inspector mkubwa Inspector yes, ni nani hey, ni kupanguzia viatu na kupanguzia piga brush kiatu pale hivyo hata kama unaweza piga mm. magoti na let me tell you ukarawa anaweza kuwa alipata D lakini hey. D yake anaweza kuingiza ndani sana utawazea huko ndani <laughs> utawazea huko ndani so, so wakenya tuache mchezo 
you so the thing is you don't know your rights hii mm-hmm. mambo ya kupiga tunaanza kugonga kifua tunaanza kupiga piga masimu unapigia nani mm. hii ni serikali nakushika kuwa kuwa mnyonge jifanye yes. fala mm. na utaishi miaka mingi you see uh, the week watu wenye wanaonekana wadhaifu ndio wanaishi miaka mingi sana hii dunia mm. ukijifanya na kiherehere unajua ai maisha yako itakuwa tari sana. Na tukimalizia the fact that you have a phone, smartphone iko na selfie, unaweza piga selfie vizuri maanisha tu una record tu alafu unaanza kuongea matope hapo. Zizi uh-huh. zizi, usiongee ongea matope because hiyo matope utaongea hivi. Uh-huh. Napata kuna mtu amekaa tu pale. Unajua kuna wakenya wamekaa tu pale anakuja kushika shika watu kabisa. Kwambia wewe hii ni cyberbully hata zingine unashindwa ni nini? Na cyberbully jikushike imekushika. Hmm? Na kutoa kwa mkono ya serikali ni ngumu sana nakwambia. Na ukikula ukikula mm-hmm. mtu pia ni si muende usiende useme sema ati yo nilikula huyu, nilikula stezi, nilikula <laughs> nilikula waambo a a. Hiyo ni siri yako. Hey. Siri yako ni yako. Na ladies hata najua mtaagree na mimi because unapata sana sana unapata siku hizi yo mtu anakula huko alafu anaenda kwa anakaa kwa kikao kwa kwa mbugi wa sasa inakuwa ni kama ni story ya jaba kitu mzee juzi nililima hii kitu nililima aa eh kitu ya yenye mlifanya wawili kwa kitanda hiyo ni siri yenu ukitoka huku nje wachana kunini unaanza kuna unariaribia vibe mimi na mimi labda nimependa stacy kwao unaanza kuja kuniambia venye ulimnyorosha uli wachana naye kwao ulimnyorosha mnyoroshe huko alafu kama pia ni creator unapata pale kwa sasa ma, ma, ma sponsors wako pale huko wanakuangalia mm. watu ambao walikuwa wanakupatia endorsements wanakuangalia pale wanasema huyu jamaa anaongea ninyi anasema nini yes. and you see these deals are going to slip off your finger jamaa anafaa na kuwa anaweka ile unaona unaweka seriousness kidogo na unaweka uoga kidogo unaambia eh hivi ndio kumeenda na aweke seriousness na onyeshe kuamba anyalikosea kama alikosea kama alivyo alisema analimanisha hivyo na hivyo mm. njalifanya anafaa ago on his knees si kila kitu kwa kama hizi go on his knees mm. aseme nye, na acknowledge niliongea mbaya na i am willing to change the whole situation but of course kijisikisha sheria saizi yeye sema hivyo unajua <laughs> sasa lazima aende kotini wapigane mm. miaka kadhaa ndio julikana na ni nani but si pose peke yake because unaweza notice in Kenya musical hata unapata wasanii wengi uh-huh. ameza hizi madrama ndio atoe muziki Aha. drama ya upuzi unapata watu watu wamefanya upuzi hivi kumbe ni wimbo ina wimbo ina korogo pale mhm unaona at yours you anafanya fanya nini 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 hivi kidogo ni wimbo kidogo ni watu, wimbo watu kama ni msanii unajua ukienda Nigeria pale unapata these people are very serious na muziki hakuna t- story story behind at yours nini nini ah tukue straight forward kama ni mziki ni mziki si lazima upige kipindi ndio atiwa wake kipindi achia kinaondieka kina nani mm. wapige hapo vitimbi na nini na kitoeo kama ni kali tenda hata bila, bila vipindi yeah. yeah so watu wanafaa jiamini vipindi si lazima upige chini kutukana na nini ndio vitu zako ziende watu waheshimiane twende koti tuangalie hiyo pozea kunaenda aje aya